Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Is it worth buying a used gaming PC in 2020 or even a used PC? Because people use that term gaming PC quite loosely. Uh, if you look here, this is a system called Custom Gaming PC. He's got the starting bid at £150 and yet he's asking price for it is £260. That's quite a lot of money. Now, if you're spending that sort of money, you can put that towards a new system and uh, pretty much you haven't got much more to go before you can actually buy new. Looking at the specs of it, it is actually an old system. It's an AMD FX8350, also one terabyte hard drive, a GTX 960 and eight gigabytes of RAM with an SSD capacity of 64 gigabytes. Paid £600 a few years ago. It was quite a few years ago when you paid £600 for it. So it's probably not worth that amount of money. This one is another one. So let's move on to this one. Gaming PC. No, it's not. It's just a HP with an LED strip in the front of it to make it look like a gaming PC. It's an office PC. And as you can see here, it's got an AMD A4 Pro 7300B. And that's two cores. 8 gigs of RAM, 500 gigabytes hard drive, and a Quadro 600 uh, VGA DVI display port graphics card in there. And they've put Windows 10 Pro on it. So trying to make these look like gaming systems, all they've done is add an LED strip in here and basically uh, put in an old Office GPU, which is an NVIDIA Quadro 600 VGA DVI display port on there, and then trying to sell it off as a gaming system and really, you're not going to get an enjoyable experience. You're going to struggle to get 720p gaming with this particular type of system. And if you do, it's going to be very low frame rates at very low resolution. And uh, all the settings are going to be real down low. And again, the same with this one. It's not a gaming PC. It's a HP Office PC. And it's been made to look like a gaming PC with that LED light strip in there. The price isn't too bad. It's not as if it's extortionately high. But it's just really the specs, really, and what you can actually achieve from a system like this. So that's the problem I've got with it. So you're looking at an out, uh, AMD A8 uh, 6410, four cores, four threads, two meg cache, and an NVIDIA Quadro 2000 uh, card in there, which is a VGA DVI display port on it, eight gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabytes hard drive, and a Windows 10 uh, 64 bit. And then it's going to give you a bunch of games there. They're probably going to be 720p gaming for that type of system. So you're not going to really get an enjoyable experience. And that doesn't mean that it won't play games. Uh, it will play games, but a very low uh, resolution and probably very low settings. You're not going to get a lot out of that card. It wasn't really designed for that, uh, that NVIDIA Quadro 2000. So these are just really old office systems being sold on the cheap to get rid of them. Moving on to the Dell machine here, entry level PC, gaming PC, it definitely is not. £60 is the starting bid, no one's bid on it as you can see. And the reason for that is because it is a Dell and it's been converted into a gaming system. It's had a VS350 power supply added in there. It's got an 80 gigabyte hard drive in there. That shows you how old it is. It's an AMD Athlon processor. It does have an AMD HD 6770 graphics card, two gigabyte. I think that is a one gigabyte graphics card. But again, power supply is a Corsair 350 watt, which is underrated for that sort of graphics card. It's It should be at least 450 to 500 watts. Four gigabytes of RAM. It's just not worth anything with an AMD Athlon. It's just not worth buying. And uh, you want to steer clear of those sort of uh, deals. This one again, gaming PC, GTX 1050 Ti, one terabyte hard drive, and an Intel Core i5 second gen. So it's pretty old. And eight gigabytes of RAM with a G213. Wants a starting bid of £153. It's not going to even reach that and the reason why is i did spot something on here which i wanted to point out and these are the sort of things you want to look out for when you're buying used systems this is an actual lenovo motherboard which means it's been taken out of an old probably an old desktop uh, from an office and then put into another case and again that to you is going to be a headache when you come to upgrade or do anything because it is actually a lenovo you can see here there's no mention of it being a Lenovo motherboard or any of that stuff. It does say keyboard and 
Lenovo generic mouse. That's all it says. It doesn't tell you the motherboard is a Lenovo. So you are going to walk into a few problems there. It seems like someone's just transferred it into a new case and tried to offload it as a gaming system. So why is no one bidding on this particular machine? Well, as you can see here, it looks pretty messy. You've got the CPU cable going right away across the front here. No cable management. It looks like someone's just quickly swapped out the power supply and just literally put the cables in and took some photos of it to try and offload it. They've probably got a new machine and they really don't care about this anymore, but they still want some money for it. So they start the bid at £150, hoping someone's going to click and buy on it. But the problem is it's not going to happen. You have to start at a low price, maybe a pound or something like that, 99 pence, and then clean up the cables, get it nice and tidy, you know, remove all the dust, make it look presentable, and people will start bidding on it. And again, once you get to seven days um, sort of sale time, you'll probably end up getting to your sort of desired price that you want to get to. Is it really worth starting bid of £150? No, it's not. It's just not going to generate that amount of money. So the Corsair uh, VS350 is underpowered for that GTX 960. So obviously in the description, he does talk about him swapping out that power supply for a VS350. So again, really all you're going to get is something that's underpowered and not good enough. Use gaming PC i7-920 GeForce 750 Ti, 8GB of RAM. Fractal design R4 case with 850W power supply. So what I see here is a mishmash of stuff. i7-920, which was released in November 2008. So it's a pretty old CPU, and it's basically all put into a, a newer type case. And that's what you've got to look out for. Probably... A little bit too old for me, uh, the i7-920, uh, 750 Ti, 8 gigabytes of RAM. It's probably too much at a starting point. Trying to convince people it's, you know, a really decent system by putting it into a new case. That's a common trick that people use to try to make people buy things. You can see here, custom gaming PC, very little description, not too much to talk about here. £260, a whopping £260, and it's basically a CS450M power supply with a GTX 950. It does have eight gigabytes of HyperX RAM and a two terabyte hard drive, but the CPU is an FX6300. That starting price is just ridiculous. No one is gonna buy that because it's too expensive. And if you do buy it, then you've probably been ripped off. It's just too high. And that's the thing. People are valuing old stuff way too high for what it actually is so this is another one dell vostro 260 2400 pc desktop customized for gaming so it's obviously had some bits added to it to make it a gaming system uh, again it's just a, a black box it looks very plain jane as you can see here but you know people are bidding on it 12 bids on it and the reason why is because that starting price is low and people will bid on it and you can see it does have an i7 processor which is the i7-860, which was released in September of 2009, which makes it pretty old. does have 16 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 1050 Ti. Again, already up to 100-odd pounds, which means that the person that started that bid very low has actually achieved quite a selling point for this old system by putting the price down low and people starting to bid on it. Something like this, you're not going to get people buying it because the price is too high, 350 pounds which is way too high for an old system like this that looks in that type of condition. He hasn't even cleaned it or even give it the time and care to try and make it look even presentable. £28 of delivery as well, and it does have an i5-6500 GTX 970 in there, cheap motherboard, and also 8 gigabytes of RAM in there. Again, here's another one, for example, gaming PC, custom gaming PC, no description whatsoever, just £299 straight out the gate, no one's bidding on it because it's too high. And basically, it's got no hard drive, no video card. So you're losing a couple of key components here, hard drive and video card. But you do get an i5-4690K Asus Z97 Pro Gamer and a Corsair Vengeance Pro Series DDR3 2400MB, 16GB of RAM. Hyper uh, 212 Evo and also a decent power supply, Corsair RM650X. Probably a little bit strong on the price to start out with. Personally, it's a fourth gen 
uh, i5, which is still pretty reasonable today to use as gaming. But again, he's took the graphics card out here and sold you all the other stuff and come in at a really high price. So you've got to look for something cheaper than that to start out with because people are just not going to bid on it. Now, something like this is something you should be looking at in 2020, which is a really good sort of PC and a good deal to go for. It's got a custom gaming editing PC workstation Ryzen 7 1700X, which is a very good processor still in 2020. It's got two terabytes hard drive and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. So that's the sort of system you want to be looking at when you're buying a PC like this. It does also come with a GTX 1060 Windforce overclocked 6 gigabyte GDDR5. The case is a Thermaltake V200 tempered glass RGB case. And also it does come with uh, two terabytes of Toshiba P300 high performance hard drive. And the RAM is a Patriot uh, Viper V4 16 gigabytes of 3000 megahertz RAM. So you can see here already does have a decent power supply in here as well. Thermaltake Smart SE 730 watt semi-modular 80 plus bronze power supply with an MSI a B350M Pro motherboard and it does have a CPU water cooler on it which is Master Liquid Lite 240 all-in-one CPU cooler. So you can see it's a pretty substantial PC for 2020 and this is where you want to be sort of looking if you are looking to buy a used computer. All that old stuff of Gen 1s and Gen 2s they are finished. They're not worth buying at that stupid ridiculous money because they're not worth that much money and you're just going to end up be throwing your money out the window when you come to getting rid of it because you realize it can't do what you want it to do because someone is stating it does this or you've watched some YouTube guy on the internet showing you it does play games at 720p. Who plays games at 720p at 30 frames per second? No one. It's just not worth the money. So it's sometimes worth listening to someone who's actually trying to guide you in the right direction to buy the right type of stuff that's worth money in 2020 rather than buying stuff that isn't worth anything because it's old surplus office stuff or whatever it is that you're trying to uh, put onto people to buy anyway with that said i think that's going to be about it yes you can still buy used pcs that are worth something today as you can see here but a lot of the other stuff i would steer clear of in 2020 now before you buy any used pc make sure you spec out a real cheap budget system that can do more than what that cheap used pc can do and see how much the price difference is and if you you'll be shocked to find out how cheap you can get a cheap ryzen build today that will actually way outperform any of those older systems that you see there anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope these videos help you out guys i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.